theorem, the quotient remainder theorem. You know the name of important theorems in this class. The quotient remainder theorem. So what does it tell us? It tells us given any integer n, if you have any integer like n, and a positive integer like d, and a positive integer like d, there exist unique integers. So this theorem guarantees the existence of unique integers. There exist unique integers. Let's call them Q and R such that your N can be written as D times Q plus R, or as the remainder is bounded between zero and D. There we go. So there exist unique integers that N can be written as the multiplication of D and Q plus the remainder R. The remainder is bounded between zero and D. You saw this theorem before you use this theorem many times in algebra. But in this class, you officially define this theorem and you're just trying to apply the definition when you're proving statements. Definition. Let's go over another definition, then some examples. Given any integer like n and a positive integer d, when you write n d i v d, this gives us the integer quotient obtained by dividing n by d. So the outcome is an integer quotient obtained by dividing n by when we write n mod d, for those of you who are in programming, you're already familiar with these two. n mod d is the non-negative integer, which gives you the remainder. Non-negative integer, which is the remainder. It gives you the R obtained by dividing N by D. Very good. So for simplicity, you can write them this way. You can say that, hey, N D I V D equals to Q and N mod D is equal to R if and only if N is written as DQ plus R and your R is bounded between zero and D. Let's go over a couple of examples. Suppose we have the following. Suppose your n is equal to 
32, and your D is equal to 9. Very good. So when we write 3, 32, DIV 9, or when you're looking for the integer quotient, after doing the division between these two, you have 3. And for the mod, you have 32. Mod 9, the remainder is 5. So by using these two information, just simple division, you can write 32 as, well, here you have 9 times 3 plus the remainder 5. Now, this is coming from the quotient remainder theorem. Just note that you have unique integers satisfying this written format for 